On March 22nd, 2019, Pirate Island was released. Within this update came a lot of items that were later removed forever. These are 10 items that were banned from Dungeon Quest. But before the video starts, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Consider yourself lucky if you own any of these. Number 1. Skull Flames Skull Flames came with the whole Pirate Island dungeon, but was later removed randomly in November of 2019. It was replaced with a new spell called Phantom Flames, which looked almost identical to the original, except without a skull. Number 2. The Glitched Crystallized Greatsword Many of you may recognize the Crystallized Greatsword as the legendary item of the Winter Outpost dungeon. However, there was actually a second one. The OG Crystallized Greatsword had the icon of the Frozen Lord's Greatsword due to a glitch and was later removed forever. Number 3. The Azerite Greatstaff This item was introduced in the Winter Outpost update. This one is a bit confusing because the item with the correct icon was removed from the game but stayed as the Elder Void Wand or as the Azerite Greatstaff but with the Elder Void Wand icon. Number 4. Original Pirate Island Legendaries When the Pirate Island Dungeon was released, the level requirement to equip the Soul Stealer Greatsword and the Staff of the Gods was 71. They later changed this to 68 as it made more sense after the release of King's Castle. Number 5. The Beastly Armor Sets When King's Castle was first released, the Beastly Warrior and Guardian Helmets actually had a different look to how they do today. For some reason, the old ones had a visible skull face, but now they are just blacked out. Number 6. The Original Rending Slice The Rending Slice originally had the description of Slice forward in a crescent sweep causing all enemies to bleed and take damage over time. This was later changed to avoid breaking the no depiction of blood rule for Xbox. Number 7. The Tribal Warrior Armor This was another item that was changed due to having bones depicted in the design. Number 8. Original Orbital Outpost Legendaries when the Orbital Outpost dungeon came out, the legendary potentials were extremely different. Before Valentine's Day 2020, the range of potential damage was between 3.576 million and 3.953 million. They can now no longer be under 3.74 million. Number 9. Kunai Knives This spell is one of the new ones that was released in the latest dungeon, Yokai Peak. But as of the most recent update bringing us reworked spells, the Kunai Knives which used to be obtainable in Insane Mode having a level 200 requirement, now is found in Nightmare Mode with a level 205 requirement, making all of the level 200 copies of this unobtainable. Number 10. Legendary Armor Legendary Armor was only just recently released, but is already gone. If you happen to own any, Legendary Armor has been reverted to Purple Rarity. However, if you check the stats, they are actually glitched. That was it for this video. If I missed anything, be sure to tell me in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.